This is a quick and dirty review of a cheap Chinese Bluetooth adapter, the kind that's only two or three dollars on eBay and AliExpress and the like. It's a pretty basic adapter. You've got one hole for a blue LED, you plug it into USB to power it, and there's a tip ring sleeve stereo three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the back and a little lanyard dongle. That's it. Um, I was as far as performance goes, this actually works quite well. Um, it's got clear English language voice prompts. It starts up almost instantly. The audio quality is quite good. Um, for whatever reason, it always reports being at 10% battery, which is rather annoying. Um, the other thing to note is that it's quite noisy. Any noise from the USB adapter, the USB power adapter, gets passed into the audio output. There's no noise filtering. And so unless you happen to find an adapter that has almost no noise, you're going to have that buzzing sound along with your audio. So for example, this no-name adapter that came with the TiVo Stream Android TV dongle somehow happens to just not have any noise. It's really well damped, so this adapter is almost fine with it. Not quite perfect, but almost fine. But some other expensive adapters, like ones that came with my Samsung phone, for whatever reason, have noise. So, I'll show you how to get inside. You can push off the bottom of the dongle, and then pull out the bottom. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but let's try it. Okay. Then you usually pull off the top, then you can yank off the front metal adapter. Inside you can actually see the PCB of the Bluetooth adapter. It's a single layer job, nice and cheap and simple. On it, you have one IC, very basic crystal, some caps, like one resistor, and you can see this ceramic capacitor diagonal and very haphazardly placed in the front. That does not come like this. I had to solder that myself. However, putting this capacitor on between the 5 volt and the ground lines of the USB gets rid of all the noise. I just harvested this off of a busted wall power adapter for something else and just kind of slapped it on there and it does the job perfectly. Now as far as the markings on this go, you have one right here, JXY163 version 1.1, some late 2019 date codes, and the one little chip that does all the work. Labeled YC1149 EAF374. 1941D3, I believe. Sorry, DJ, DJ. Yeah, there's obviously a Bluetooth antenna, the headphone jack, the chip, small crystal oscillator, handful of caps, LED, resistor, zero ohm resistor down there. That's it, it is as cheap and simple as they come. So after you add the filtering, this actually works quite well, but otherwise it's a cheap Chinese eBay AliExpress Bluetooth adapter. So to put it back together, you put the PCB back in the bottom half of the case. You make sure the headphone jack is resting on the outside of the case, it's not too far forward. You line up the top half and just click it in. Yep, and then you line up the USB metal cover. It's very hard to do this through a camera viewfinder. And then click it on. Hmm. Yep, okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. And there you go.